actress and activist whose passion for enriching lives continues from screen to real life. She's a longtime supporter of women's rights and a prominent voice in the LGBT community. Please welcome Amber Heard. This is why I'm so honored to be here with you to lend my support and my gratitude for the hard work and the commitment of those who have allowed me this privilege to be able to break, break just one boundary and to advocate for those who can come next. Thank you so much, HMI, for the often thankless work that you and everyone in this room does to secure a future where full equality is a reality for all of us. Thank you so much. I'm honored to be here. <laughs> thank you for having me. It's a real honor to stand before you all, to share this space with you. You know, there's nothing quite as painful than that feeling of being alone. And that's how I felt coming to terms with not only my inability to squeeze myself into the narrow standards that were expected of me, but in recognizing that there was one at all. It was as if there was this whole invisible homo ghost plague that loomed about, you know, picking its unwitting innocent victims from their poor innocent slumber, and BAM! There goes a life full of alienation, strife, and penance. And at this point in my life, the latest catch appeared to be me. So there I was, alone, a sinner, without ever having committed the sin. Although, trust me, I would have goddamn traded anything to have been given the opportunity to try. <laughs> But it was clear to me then, as it is to me today, I knew without community, I had no support. Without representation, I had no hope. I longed for some demonstrable example of why what I understood about who I was at that tender age and point in my life that was not bad, or ugly, or wrong. This is why I know how important it is to be here, and to have the opportunity, the chance to support organizations like HMI. Organizations who do just that. Those who have been helping the uniquely challenging aspects of our community's most fragile stages and members. And why I have committed to doing so throughout my career, no matter what it costs me. The truth is, no amount of money, popularity, or success could make me forget that feeling of when I had none and had no one. And what that meant, what that means for so many to this day is unforgettable and undeniable. It hasn't always been that easy, though, you know, where I stand today. I'd be remiss if I didn't say years later, if I didn't point out years later, or years earlier, rather, just as my career was starting to take off, and I was dragged reluctantly from my previously ignorable Barbie box, I, and again, I would revisit this old yet familiar memory. I had inconveniently fallen in love with what would soon be my wife, a woman, really, it's not us. 